<clears throat> Dobra. Hi, Barnock. Ja, det bra. Do you see us, guys? Uh, I think they see us. <laughs> Clearly. All right. Should we start? Yeah, well, let's start. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Otni. I am from Iceland, but I've lived half of my life abroad in Norway and in Denmark. I like to say that I'm Scandinavian. I'm a UX designer, user experience designer, so I've been working with digital design and communication. Apart from that, I am a big outdoorsy person. And before this amazing adventure, I had never sailed a sailboat. Never really been on a sailboat before. I never really had friends that had sailboats. Yeah, that's probably all you need to know about me. <laughs> <laughs> that's all for you. Well, so do you, Yes, so... Um... Okay, my, my name is uh, Sondre Jørgensen. I am uh, 31 years old. I come from Norway. Both of us didn't have any sailing experience before this adventure. Is that feet knock? Yeah. Do you want me to tell them how this started? Yeah, tell them. Yeah. So basically, me and Sondre, we met back in 2016. We're big outdoorsy people. We love to hike mountains. We're both very active. Norway and Iceland, very similar cultures, and, and we absolutely adore nature and, and spending time in nature. So on our first date, I remember Sontre starts to tell me that he has this dream about traveling the world. I remember I told him like, that has also been my dream for the last 10 years. He wants to buy a sailboat and sail the world. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you had to think yeah, I was a little bit crazy, right? Yeah, I thought you were very spontaneous, so I didn't know if I should take you seriously or not. I can just remember uh, back in the days I was uh, invited by my friend's family to come on board the sailboat. And during that summer we sailed around the south of Norway. And I just remember the feeling was uh, incredible. It was a very cool way to travel. and. Um, I just imagine myself traveling with a sailboat uh, in the future. So here we are. <laughs> so that's where actually the dream started. Before we bought Freya, we lived together in Copenhagen, Denmark. In Nabo, or Novest to be precise. Very colorful and a great place to live. We both loved living in Copenhagen and have nothing other than love for the city. However, after living almost a decade in Copenhagen, we have just grown tired of the big city life. Seeing as we're both these big outdoorsy people, you might be wondering, what were they doing living in Copenhagen? Well, we had our reasons, no need to go into detail here, but work, study, friends, life. Now, we needed a break from work and from the classic 9 to 5 living. We felt a sense of urgency to follow this dream now, before we moved on to our adult life, buying a house, getting kids, so on. This is what we're focusing on. This is our goal from now on. Surely we could figure out how to sail a sailboat. The urban Copenhagen kids decided to become sailors and the rest would be history. So uh, when that was decided, we uh, started to look for boats. We did, uh, you know, check out different sizes from smaller boats to bigger boats. But we decided that maybe 38 to 40 foot was the perfect size for us. We, uh, we knew that we we're going to live on the boat for uh, more than two years. To not be claustrophobic, we decided that 40 feet was a perfect size for us. For me, it was very important that I could uh, stand and uh, cook uh, food in the galley. I'm almost uh, two meters tall. Also, very important in the st stability for the boat and uh, also the safety around it. So we had a budget and um, we tried to find the biggest boat we could uh, for that uh, budget, but also find a boat that was not uh, a wreck also. <laughs> we like to run away, do we like to fix and build things? Uh, so that was actually okay for us to buy a um, boat that was big, but needed some attention. Yeah, we can start with like maybe 
we looked online for different boats, uh, found a few ones that we checked out. We spent probably six months looking at different boats, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, today I am actually going for the first time on board a sailboat. Uh, I've been on many different kinds of boats, but never on a sailboat. So that's super exciting for me. Yes. Uh, today we're gonna actually take a look on a Beneteau, a France yacht from two to 2001, uh, 41 feet. So yes, that's something we're gonna take a look on today. And why do you think this boat is interesting to, to check out? It's really interesting because of the room sizes and how actually the room is like built up. It's really, really um, taking advantage of uh, 41 feet. So it's really interesting and it's really seaworthy. So it, it's just a really nice boat. <laughs> Super exciting, but yeah. Check out the boat. <laughs> And then all of a sudden there was a Gypsy 402 <laughs> in uh, Aarhus, a town in, uh, in Jylland in Denmark, not too far away. And we see this 40 foot ship at a really, really good price. And the first thing we thought is what's wrong with this boat? Because why is this so cheap compared to the other boats? Uh, but we figured, you know what, maybe it's a renovation project. And, oui. it, and it was that. It was more like a like renovation project, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna get there, but yes. it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But anyways, th those were our first thoughts. So we figured, you know what, let's go out, let's see it. We rented a car. Vi er snart klar for afgang, og i den forbindelse skal jeg indlede gæsterne, som er så med på tv-skærmene, når 
vil vi ikke vores sikkerhedsvideo. Og skulle de have yderligere spørgsmål, så er det selvfølgelig altid velkommen til kontaktbenen og til besætningen. På vegne af vores kampagne, som vi har sådan en besætning, så håber jeg, at de vil finde dem godt om bord og får det til formiddag to mere til formiddag til Aarhus. Husk også at medbringe bagage og alle øvrige ejdele inden skidt og måde. Hvor er vi så i bort? Hvor er vi gøjt? Hvor er vi øvrigt? Så lukker vi en af deres. And we met with the yacht broker, who was a very talkative guy, and he talked fast. And me personally, I think I got like 10% of what he was saying, if not five. Something maybe caught around 15, 20%. Yeah. <laughs> and the rest was just like, what? Yeah. Like, we had yeah. no idea what he was talking about. But we didn't know what to look for. We didn't know. No. We, we, of course, it, we did some like research about boats, what to look for and so on. Yeah. Um, so. But I mean, we were clueless. Yeah. And we didn't really know what to ask for either. Um, but from what we saw, we liked. Jeg synes, den er fed. Altså, jeg synes virkelig, man skal arbejde lidt med den. Men det er jo egentlig det, vi vil. Så hvad tænker du om det? A lot of things and thoughts go through my head, but uh, I think it's a um, fair price for a decent sailboat. So for a nice fixer-upper. Yeah, we need to fix a few things. Um, we also need to put some new stuff in it, but uh, I, yeah, I think it's gonna be good enough for our adventure. So after we uh, had this uh, talk with the broker and uh, liked what we see, we decided to hire a ship engineer to take an overlook over the whole boat. Um, the boat was on land, so he couldn't check the engine, how it worked properly. But uh, he did the whole hole and uh, rigging, sails, all that important stuff. So he told us that the boat was very nice, it's been sandblasted and the hull looks good and the sails are almost brand new, so... Mm -hmm. But he did warn us that the electrical, uh, like all the wiring oh, in the yeah, boat, yeah. that was old. So he told us that we would have to change out all the wiring and when you like opened up to look at the, the control panel, so when you looked behind it, it was just like... <sighs> wires everywhere we decided you know what we want to change it all anyway so we can learn what goes where and we figured we'll just spend a little money in the beginning and have a professional come in help us with that because then it's proper so continuing when we would install new devices and so on that would be okay mm. so we thought that that that's something we could live with but we took a little drive after we visited Freya and I remember in that drive we just talked about how we felt. What's the vibe? But when we came here into Freya and you know it's a 30 year old boat with teak everywhere it just it felt homey, it felt cozy and like the size of the boat it felt big enough for us and also small enough for us to sail. Mm. Because you know a 45 foot boat becomes very intimidating when it's this broad and you know you have to think about oh I have to get it into a harbor you know thanks for watching we hope you liked our first episode feel free to leave a comment and tell us what you think 
It would be a huge motivation if you subscribe to our channel. And of course, stay tuned for our next episode where we sail Freya home.